Hello everyone, welcome back to another informative video. In this video, we are going to shed some light on a very frequently asked question. Question is, how much water should I give to my plants? Now, in order to understand or have an idea of how much water you need to give to your plants, there are a few variables that you need to have a general understanding of that basically contributes to how plant uses water. Now, of course, we are going to discuss some common observations that you can also use to determine how much water to give to your plants or to determine how much water the plant is, is using. Now, the variables that we are going to discuss are temperature, relative humidity, evaporation, transpiration. And just for the record, we are going to put those four variables into one group because they are basically interrelated, one affects the other. The other variables are growing medium, size of container, size of plant, stage of plant, type of plant, and access to water. Now, the information that I am presenting today is, a, is basically applicable right across the board. Planting in containers and planting outdoors and when I say planting outdoors what I mean is whether you have a backyard garden that you plant directly in the ground or the hurt or your commercial farm now let us talk about the first group temperature relative humidity evaporation and transpiration we all feel how hot the days can be and the plants also feel it when temperatures get high and let us relate this to low temperatures. So high temperatures relative to low temperatures. When temperatures get high, plants tend to transpire more. When temperatures get high, water tends to evaporate from the soil more. Now when temperatures are low, the plant transpires less and less water is lost from the soil through evaporation. Now, when temperatures are high, relative humidity is basically low. When temperatures are low, relative humidity is basically high. And when relative humidity is high, so you'll find that the plants will transpire less. Right? Now, when relative humidity is low due to high temperatures, so you'll find that the plant transpires more. Because what this is, in, what this is, is basically the evaporative demand of the atmosphere. So when relative humidity is low, the atmosphere is telling the plant that, hey, look, I need more water. I need more water. I need more. I can hold more, so give me. So the plant goes like this and rapidly transpiring, transpiring, and, and basically losing water to the atmosphere. And that is when stress is on the plant. The evaporative demand of the atmosphere is higher. So what does all this mean in terms of how you water or how much water you give to your plants? Of course, if, if the plant is transpiring fast or the evaporative demand of the atmosphere is very high, you will find that a lot of water is being evaporated from the soil. So you are losing water from your growing medium by evaporation and you are losing water from your growing medium by transpiration. And when you put that together, you get evapotranspiration. As I said before, once temperatures are high and evapotranspiration is basically high, you will need to add more water than normal to your plants. Now, the next variable is growing medium. You have some growing mediums that will basically hold the water. They will basically have good water holding capacity. They can retain the moisture. But then now you have others that will basically percolate the water and leach out your nutrients very fast. When you have those kind of soil or those kind of growing medium that basically percolates fast, then you find that you'll need to add more water than normal, than if you have a soil that retains more moisture. You want to select a growing medium that has good water holding capacity, but you don't want to select one that basically holds the water where it is causing water logging. You don't want your roots to die off. So you want to ensure that, you know, it drains the water, you know, evenly, not too fast. Because once it drains the water very fast, then you'll find that 
you either have to be watering your plants very frequently or you will find that your plants are just water stress because it is not getting enough water due to high percolation rate and when i say percolation what i mean is water moving through moving down through the growing medium and remember these variables that we are discussing are things that you need to consider have an understanding about that basically contributes to how plant uses water now the next variable is size of container well the bigger the container the more growing medium it can hold which means the more moisture you will have or the more moisture will be available to the plants and the more water you'll have to use now let us move on to size of plant and we're going to basically group size of plant with stage of plant now when i say size of plant i mean the physical features of the plant or big the plant is when i say stage of plant i mean where it is along the vegetative and generative stage whether it is flowering or whether it is just merely putting on leaves and branches and so on now of course the bigger the tree or the bigger the plant the more water it will need the more water it will pull on to basically sustain itself now in terms of stage of plant so what i'm saying is if you have a plant that is in generative stage it will pull on more water than a plant that is in vegetative stage and when i say generative stage what i mean is when the plant is basically actively producing flowers and fruits and when i say vegetative stage i mean that when the plant is basically you know in its juvenile stage coming up putting on leaves and so on branches and so on now the last one is access to water now quite naturally if you do not have access to water your plants will struggle right so you need to have access to water in order to feed your plants properly now with that being said there are some things that you can do to control how much sun your plant gets how much water your plant gets or how much water the plant loses or how much water evaporates from your soil now at any given time a variable like those that we discussed earlier can change so you will have a low temperature today and tomorrow you find that you have a high temperature what can you do about that so that is what i mean you cannot control these environmental variables once you are growing outdoors however if you are indoors like in a greenhouse setting you can control temperature you can control relative humidity you can control co2 you can control water and, and all those things right so with that being said i cannot tell you that you need to give your plants one liter of water per day or you need to water your plants two times per day or one times per day or three times per day i cannot just blatantly come out and tell you that the reason i cannot do that is what if one day you get up water your plants in your pots and of course these pots are outdoors you know you have low temperatures the sun is not so hot and you know in normal circumstances you would have you know just had it like a liter of water to your plants and that would suffice so and of course this one liter would have been what i recommended you know it was working all along right but on a given day the temperature rises so what this means this would mean that your plant the evaporative demand of the atmosphere would be much higher so you'll find that you will need to add more water but then on that day you go and you had the, the liter of water which is not enough so when you come home you find that okay then your plants look curled and they look wilted like they are dying you know so i cannot say that one liter of water or watering two times per day can suffice there are too many variables there are too many variables environmental variables when you are growing outdoors that can contribute to plant water use and once you are growing outdoors it's basically hard to control some of those variables so what that leads me to is telling you some of the things that you can do to basically have a better understanding of how much water you should give to your plants or how much water the plant is using the first one is 
And funny enough, I don't really hear a lot of people talking about this one. And it is color difference. If you should look in your pots where you plant your plants or outdoors where you grow your plants in the ground, you will find that when the temperature is high or when the time is hot, the color of the soil or the growing medium looks totally different from when it is saturated or from when moisture is in it. When moisture is in the growing medium or in your soil outdoor in the ground, you find that it has a darker color. So by observing and seeing that dark, darker color, you know that okay then there is some amount of moisture within the growing medium or there is some amount of moisture within the ground that you plant or within the herd that you plant. The other observation is check beneath the top layer of the soil because quite naturally the radiation from the sun is impacting the soil that is on top directly. So you'll find that the top layer is the first layer to, to dry out. So you'll find that the top layer dries out but underneath that top layer you find that it is kind of moist, right? So check check under the top layer because what happens is that you don't want to be fooled by the top layer being dried but then now underneath that top layer has water and that will basically tell you or give you an indication or an idea okay then i'm going to put a little more water i don't need to put much because there is some amount of water in the growing medium already or in the hurt already now another observation is by using your finger to push into your pots, your plant pots or if you are planting in the ground, just push your finger into the soil and you will basically have an idea of how moist the soil is underneath. Another common observation is, and we discussed this earlier, is curling of the leaves. Look at the curling of the leaves because when you see the leaves curling, you, you know that okay then you know the plant might need some water it is suffering from water stress now as you can see all those variables that we discuss and those observations that you can you can make or you can use it's basically hard to say how much water you should give to your plants especially operating outdoors for me my advice to you is if you are growing in containers just observe right observe and not even only containers if you are growing in the ground as well just observe your plants because what happens is with all these environmental variables on some days you might not even have to water because when humidity when relative humidity is high the plant is losing less water evaporation is less from the soil so you find that your soil would retain much more moisture so you wouldn't have to go back and water right but when you have high temperatures, you find that the soil dries out faster and the plant transpires faster. So you definitely have to water. So all of these things come together to basically determine how the plant uses water and determine how much, how often you water your plants. So those variables that we spoke about, you have to put them together in your mind, think about them and just apply them. Right? Just use them as a base to understand, okay, then on this given day, this is the temperature, this is the humidity, this is what is happening. So I am expecting that the plant will transpire more. I am expecting that water will be evaporated from the soil more or, you know, water will be evaporated less and transpiration will be less. So just use those variables as parameters and you are, are, are as a general guideline as to how you go about watering your plants you are how much water the plant is using do not allow your plants to curl do not allow your plants to wilt right due to water stress ensure that the, the plant is getting enough water you don't want over water you know you, you have to at least water every day but in terms of me even telling you to water every day you know that is basically relative to um your conditions because what if i tell you to water every day and today you water and tomorrow rain falls you don't need to water tomorrow you know so these are the things you just need to be you know observant of of how your plant is growing and the conditions which is it is growing on right so we've come to the end of this video if you have any comments any questions 
please put them in the comment section and as usual please remember to subscribe to my channel hello now that you're at the end if this video was beneficial to you please consider subscribing to subscribe to my channel please click the red subscribe button and then click the bell icon beside it so that you will be notified whenever i publish a new video thank you